Mike McCool here in the Royal Examiner studio, and with me today, the ladies from the library. You like how I just labeled you that? But Macau <laughs> Ashby and Aaron Rooney. So it's time again to talk about December activities. So who wants to go first this month? Would you mind? If yep. I do? Go ahead. Oh, awesome. Well, we, the first thing that we're super excited about is um, on Saturday, we're going to be in the parade. That's and right. That's so, December 2nd. Yes. Yeah, so we'll it be waving at, at everybody. And right. um, I don't know if we have publicized the theme, so I think we'll let it be a surprise. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, so it, it's good. a surprise theme, but it's a lot of fun. Well, good. It's all fun. Always having I, fun. We look forward to seeing the whole community. Sure. And then, of course, we have our regular music and movement programs. They're every Monday. And it's, for those of you who do not know about music and movement, it's, um, it's a variety of song and yoga movements for babies and toddlers. And it's really a pre-literacy program because it's those movements and singing that help them get ready for literacy. How do you so, tell a little baby to move around and oh, they you, just mimic? They mimic, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so we have a lot of fun with that. Um, and then on Tuesdays, um, every other Tuesday, we do Homeschool Hub. Great time for mm -hmm. homeschoolers mm -hmm. to get together and learn about science. And then in the afternoon, every other Tuesday, we have Science Scouts. And um, we have story time on Wednesdays for the Itty Bitties. 10, 15, and 11, and we have a very special story time on December 13th. It's Read with the Sheriff. So those have been a huge hit. Yes. And we're super grateful to be partnering with the Sheriff's Department. They've done a lot in their community They've policing. They've done a lot, all yes. All over the community. They've all... Yeah. Uh, between uh, uh, Terry and... Uh, yep, and, Terry's uh, wonderful. Yeah, he's a great guy. And uh, But there's been quite a few... Who's that other old guy that goes around with him all the time? I can't think of Robbie. Oh, Robbie Steele. <laughs> He's not going to be happy hearing that. <laughs> he don't watch us to hear it. But that was um, funny. And then we also have a very special Teens Connect, which is Thursday evening at 6 p.m. And they're going to be doing a craft and a little game. And one of the things we're asking the teens in the community to do is to come in the teen department and vote for what type of teen programs you would like to see in the future. We have a big suggestion box, and we are very open to ideas. I think every so often I try to reappraise what we're doing with the teens and get their feedback sure. because it should be about what you guys want. Sure. Um, the thing that we are the most excited for, well, two things, or at least on, on my side, is next week we have a very special reception for all of the winners of the holiday writing contest. And um, it's a, a very special community event. We invite all the winners and their families to come and everybody shares their work. We read it for them if they want us to. Uh, we have food, we have it professionally published with national media and Mark, you do such an amazing job. Um, so it's a very special event and it was, um, we received a grant from Rappahannock Electric this year, and it would not have been possible without your help, Rappahannock Electric, and the Royal Oak Bookstore. So that's... So they won't be able to see the books until then, right? Or have they already seen them? No, they can't see it till then. Oh, it's just, so they don't even big. actually know if they've won first, second, or third oh. place. So I shouldn't have put their names out and... No. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other thing that we're super excited about is... So the week after, we have our holiday open house. And... You know, when you come into the library, you can see how festive it is. Sure. We've already decorated for um, for the holidays, and it's so cheery in there. I don't know about you, but I love coming to work now. Mm -hmm. It's just so beautiful. And um, what we're doing is we had every department pitch into the open house this year. As it's grown, we thought that was a good idea. And so what we're doing is at 11 o'clock, the children's department will have an open house for any child that wants to come and make a beautiful wooden craft. Um, at 12 o'clock, we have a very special story time with Santa. And Santa has some um, cookies for the children, and it's just gonna be a very cozy, warm, special That'd event. Nice. Um, and we have our teen volunteer elves that are there to help as well. That segues into 2 p.m. The adult department is doing a fantastic event with adults for 
a, a beautiful craft, which mm-hmm. we talked about yesterday. And then um, Cirque has been fantastic. They've coordinated. Um, they're going to be doing photography all throughout the afternoon. And so you would have to sign up for certain times, mm-hmm. which you can do on our website. But but Circulation also has coordinated a very special uh, background musical event. Okay. So we have basically stuff all day on the mm-hmm. 16th. It's yeah. going to be a very good open house. Um, and so that's what I wanted to highlight. <coughs> okay. Um, so you left a few things for Aaron? I left a few things for you. Yep. <laughs> All right. We also got some fun stuff for the uh, adults as well. Um, so for December, we do have um, our last uh, program in our series that we were partnering with uh, Shenandoah River State Park. So we will be doing winter photography uh, at, that, the, at the state park um, at 9 a.m. And then... Um, also, we have a later in the <coughs> afternoon is uh, a special edition of our Bad Romance um, book oh, you discussion. And those I bad know. Romance. She, I, she... I got to plug it every single time. <laughs> um, it's our special holiday edition. So uh, for that, we do come in person uh, and we'll do like you know have refreshments. Uh, people kind of like a little potluck, sure. and then we do a, a uh, book swap. So people bring in their their favorites, and then uh, we just kind of swap around and I buy new that. reads. And That's wonderful. And other stuff. Um, and then of course we have our regular uh, Books and Beyond program. That's a regular book club that's going to be on the 12th at 6 p.m. Uh, and our genealogy club, that is the day after, that is um, Wednesday the 13th at 6 p.m. And then I have something very, uh, very special to uh, show you guys today. Uh, we have a um, exhibit, for a traveling exhibit from the Library of Virginia that is in support from the Institute of Museum and Library Services and the Sorison Foundation. And it's the Lance Mill Deaf, Deaf Village uh, exhibit. And it explores um, this this community. It was between 1740 and 17 uh, sorry 1740 and 1970 Lance Mills, Virginia. If anybody is familiar, it's it no longer is really there anymore. It was uh, down near Edinburgh. Right. Um, and it was the home to many families with a mix of hearing and deaf parents, or at least like one or more deaf siblings. And when both the hearing and deaf members of a locality use a shared visual language to communicate, uh, that's known as a shared signing community. Uh, and we had it right here in Virginia. Most people uh, have never heard or known about it. Um, mm-hmm. More people are familiar with um, the one that was in Martha's Vineyard, right. uh, up, uh, island off of Massachusetts. Are they coming like with their big truck and you park it in the parking lot? No, nope, it's actually in oh, the in, library oh, right now. Yep. Cool, yeah, because they've been there before. With they have those mobile display things from the state. They've came there and mm-hmm. set them up in the lot. Yeah, it's um, cool. Yep. So this is a six-panel traveling uh, exhibit that features the history of uh, prominent deaf villagers, such as the Holer and the. Christian families, uh, deaf members' involvement in local businesses, and even a budding romance within the community. Oh, of course. Uh, um, so that. each panel includes a QR code that links to an ASL interpretation of the text featured. Um, and that's when you walk into the library, if you uh, go past the adult reference desk, it's towards the back where our periodicals are, and it's a very, very interesting exhibit. Again, see, most people don't know about it. So, wow. um, And in conjunction with that, uh, we are also going to do a um, intro to American Sign Language <coughs> uh, uh, program. It's going to be Thursday, December 14th at 6 p.m. So uh, we will be showcasing the exhibit. Um, we're going to uh, talk about the history and and um, all the stuff that's involved with it, as well as give a little basic intro to American Sign Language and what free resources we have at the library to offer. Right. So. Oh. And that's all on the 16th? Uh, that's December 14th oh. at 6 p.m. Okay, 14th at yeah. 6 p.m. All right. That sounds like everything fun. Um, yeah, and the exhibit will be at the library until December 30th. Okay. So all right. plenty of time to come out. And what days are you closed over the holidays? Do you know? We are closed December 25th. And December 26th. Okay. Now, um, that would be Monday Monday and, and Tuesday. Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Okay. I yeah. want to get that in there because, you know, I do know, sir, of course, you're closed on Sundays now. Yes. Right? All right. So you'll, you'll have a long weekend. Mm-hmm. And we then, have three days. We'll also oh be closed for the Monday and Tuesday after that for New Year's right. as well. Okay. Just want to get that in. The week later, in. though. Yeah. 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 That's next year. <laughs> yeah, we don't even think about that yet. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that hard to believe? Next year. I mean, oh it is. So it what is. else you got? No SammyCon stuff? or No, no, no it, it's, it's coming up. We start to, we need to start, I bet you've already started planning for it, right? Oh, but yeah. Yep. Got some yeah. ideas going. All right. That'd it's going to be, so be fun. Cool. Yeah. That's like 
one of the best things. It's so well, much everything fun. Everything you do is great, but but that's it's a fun thing that involves big kids. <laughs> we love anything that gets people in the library. Exactly. Anything that they enjoy is a good thing, right? Yep, no. And it's not just for kids. I mean, adults get to have fun oh, too. Yeah, so. I see yep. very little yep. kids there, mostly adults. <laughs> a lot of adults. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 But kids yeah. have a blast too. Yep. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's something for everybody. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. And Samantha here, she just ran around <laughs> last year, you know, <laughs> stargating. You're still I'm just so happy I finally that. got to cosplay for Stargate. I, I know. Just... And she was, you know, she went from department to department <laughs> through the Stargate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love that program. I don't know. My it's wife so much didn't fun care for it. I come on there, you know, every day watch it, you know, <laughs> Samantha and all those people come by with those. It's just so cool. Mm -hmm. And I think it's awesome that you cosplayed for it. I oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Nope. I was, I've been waiting years You're for in that. your element. You <laughs> love, well, I love sci-fi, but I would say you love sci-fi even yeah. more than I do. Well, well, that, you know it better than me. That was my thing. Me. I grew up you with can, it yeah. a little bit. You can watch the video. I was spooky <laughs> stories, and you were more sci-fi. I, I followed Erin around the library, you know, the whole time. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> she, she had fun. Oh, yeah. You could tell. She was glowing. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> so what else are we doing? Well, we're doing a lot. We have uh, the parade, the big holiday writing contest reception. Yeah, that's going to be a big thing. We have thing. the big volunteer event, and then we how have the open house. Mm -hmm. How was so. the, uh, the the turnout for your writing contest? How many your participants oh, had a lot? Oh, we had a great turnout. We had um, over 300 oh my gosh. entries, and we were super grateful for that. Yeah, and, that's great. Um, and honestly, the writing... One of the poems almost made me cry. Like, <laughs> the writing is so good. And um, and remember, when people win the holiday writing contest, it's a pretty big deal because we hide the names um, and the grades and all their information, you know, behind the entry. And then we pick out the creme de la creme. You know, when I say we, our department, we all right, read right. different grades and we have a lot of fun with it. We usually play Christmas music while we're doing it. But then we have a judging event. And they are principals and teachers from the local area. And they will actually, also, they don't see their names or anything like that. They pick out first, second, and third place. So when you actually win, you've won twice. That's cool. So, yeah, that's a pretty big deal. A big deal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it sounds like December's as busy as all the other months of the year. No, I would say December's probably busier because we're also getting excited and getting ready for Winter Reading Club, which is going to be super special. And that starts um, this year. We're going to do it a little bit different, January 3rd. Mm -hmm. um, and That's next year we're going to do it different. Yep. Yeah, next year. Excuse me. <laughs> um, we have, I don't know, I'm sure you've had all your prizes ordered. Oh, yeah. I have all my prizes waiting for the kids. And um, it's it's just going to be a great Winter you Reading know, Club. It's always so. I, I, I We were talking the other day to someone about you know, reading again. And, and mm -hmm. when my kids were growing up, they were like readers. And today, you know, now they just want to watch something on the video. And, and but like you say, obviously there's a lot there's of readers. There's still there. many, many readers. And I think one of the things that we loved about the theme this year is we picked it out together. And um, do you mind if I share Go what ahead. it is? It's Reading Warms the Heart. And I feel really passionate about that because reading, yes, it empowers you. It helps you in so many ways to better yourself. But also on sad days or bored days or days you just need a break, reading takes yeah, you away yeah. to a whole other place. And so Reading Warms the Heart, to me, is probably the best theme we've ever had. Well, you know, I, I heard a neat little useless information tip about reading. Do you know that we would not be able to read if we didn't have that little voice in our head? Really? You think about that. When you're reading, don't you, you think, you know, you, you hear that voice in your head, you know, when you read to yourself? I don't think I... You don't oh, think I about that. Like, Maybe I just haven't ever thought about it. Yeah, no one uh, thinks about that. But, you know, there is that voice that you hear when you're reading. I mean, you... Anyway, just think about that. <laughs> well, also, it stimulates a lot of imagery. Because when yeah. I'm reading, it's like whole movies unfold for me in my brain. For me. Some yeah. people can't do that. Some people, I guess, eh? can. I, mean, I was surprised by that. I thought everybody I does didn't, that. I thought that was normal and, for me, too. Yeah. So, apparently, we're not as normal as we think we are, Erin. <laughs> it's like you dream black and white or in color. You know? Color. <laughs> so, it makes it extra special. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well... The special ladies from the <laughs> library have a lot of stuff planned for December, so please check it out. They got a bunch of events. We're going to put those things uh, in the story. We'll put the link to their to the uh, library link on the mm -hmm. website because that has all the things that are going on, and it's constantly updated. So 
what you don't see here, just click that link and you will be able to see whoever does that keeps that up pretty good. It's constantly mm -hmm. updated. And so it's a great resource. The library is a great resource for Thank our community. You. And we love, we love Samuels. Thank you. We All right. <laughs> Ladies, you have a great holiday. You as we well. Will, we'll see you back after Christmas, and we'll talk about all the great things coming in For the, winter new, read. the yep. new year. The new year. Yeah, coming up. So we'll do that right after Christmas, mm -hmm. before the new year. How's that? On your break. You can come in on your day <laughs> off and do it. <laughs> Why don't we just come in on Christmas? <laughs> I'm sure Mark and I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> look at Mark over there. What a look he just gave you. Yeah, he was a stink guy, didn't yep, he? Yep, he did. No, All he right. gave it to you, not oh, me. Not me. <laughs> All right, you have a great day, and we will see you here in a few weeks. Okay? You as well. Merry Christmas. Thank you. And happy holidays.